Well then, hello people. Okay, this is a quick, uh, this is a quick stream. This is like take two. Really sucks that I had uh, take one kind of failed. Why? Because of this. Yeah, this is exactly what happened. Okay, can I tone it down? No. Ah! Come on. I'm trying. Oh, that can work. Okay. Now, Basically, most of my live stream vlog recordings have failed because of that little issue. So that kind of blows. But such things happen, and now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Someone had a G.I. Joe thing. So, uh, what else? What else? What do we got here? Uh, I got my music. I think I'm somewhat set. Yeah, I think I'm somewhat set here. Okay. So... Let me try to resume and possibly make it shorter this time. Because I think last time was like 27 minutes. And I think I got drafted into, you know, the painting. But um, this stream is mostly about what's happening with... Actually, maybe I want some more music. Maybe a bit higher. Sorry, people. Okay. Now, the topic of discussion is this whole Nintendo hate. Uh, a lot of people's got... Well, a lot of people have this sort of uh, hatery going on for Nintendo. And apparently, by talking about this, I may be, you know, adding oil to the fire. Apparently, I'm going to be an evil motherfucker. So brace yourself, Nintendo fans and people alike, or unlike. So, okay, a lot of people are, um, I'm hearing this wave of discussions and uh, there's this repeating topic about Nintendo doing the same thing over and over and over. So apparently Zelda is the same thing, uh, Mario is the same thing over and over and over. Apparently, uh, what else, Metroid is the same thing over and over and over. And that, you know, that's been thrown up quite, or thrown around, not thrown up, thrown around quite often. So, okay. Uh, let's dive into this. One, that's kind of right. Yeah, that's kind of right. Nintendo, you are doing the same thing over and over and over. You should be ashamed of yourself. I shouldn't even target the third-party developers, but you should be ashamed of yourself. That's right. You're not like God of War 1, 2, and 3. Um, and um, at the same time, you're not like Call of Duty... And um, maybe you should be a bit more like, uh, oh, wow, Gears of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yes, you are doing. Okay, let me get back to serious talk here. So I understand a lot of people are going to throw this kind of this kind of speech around where, oh, Nintendo is just doing the same thing over and over and over. Now, most of those people haven't played uh, the latest iterations of those games. And this mostly looks like this, um, this corner of the eye type of talk. Like, I'm not even playing those games, I'm just looking at them from the corner of my eye, and they look like the same thing. So, to this, you might as well just answer, have you played the game? No. Well, there's a problem there, because if I do the same type of process, the same thinking process or active process, and let's say I haven't played Dynasty Warrior since Dynasty Warrior 3, you know, I haven't played since the first one. Well, they all look the same to me. Yeah, they, they all look the fucking same. Uh, let's say I haven't played any Gears of War. It, I, I actually haven't played any Gears of War. But they all look the same to me. Army of Two looks the same um call of duty well i've played all of them and frankly to the to the, inis, to the inexperienced or maybe to the person who hasn't played them they all look, fucking look the same uh, so the same thing can be tossed back for those other generation or those other consoles now i'm looking at killzone shadowfall i've played killzone 2 3 and 
I haven't played Killzone 1. That was PS2, and I really didn't give that much of a fuck. There was no demo to get me in. So sorry, guys. So, and now I look at Killzone Shadowfall, and to me, it looks the same. And I might not even play it. Uh, I'm not that much of a Killzone fan. I used to love the multiplayer, but there you go. It looks the same to me. Uh, let's say a person hasn't played God of War. Well, they all look the same to them, right? They haven't played them. They all feature Kratos killing gods, titan, colossus, and monsters. But it all looks the same to them, to the person that hasn't played, that hasn't even bothered checking out behind the scenes and featurettes. To that person that's just gonna sit back and just go, well, it's all the same. I'm not even gonna bother touching them. So, at this point, um, you know, that same person is going to tell or lash back saying, well, there's always games like Lollipop, Chainsaw, and, you know, Rage and Dead Rising that are different from the rest. Okay, well, there's this game called on the, it's on the Wii. It's called No More Heroes. That's, that's quite different. Oh, Zack and Wiki. That was quite different. Hey, there's this new game that's called Wonderful 101. That's quite different as well. Uh, should I look up some more? Yeah, Muramasa the Demon Blade. There's a couple of extra games that are different. So, again, the arguments can be tossed around on both sides. Um, what becomes very... How can I say that? What becomes a bit um, dull or dull-headed or simple-minded is just abstractively looking at both consoles or all consoles or their selections of games without doing the proper research or just playing the fucking games and simply saying well you guys are doing the same thing over and over because this could easily apply for each and every consoles or franchises we have it's ironic but if you keep that same train of thought, yeah, everything's going to start looking the same to you and to me. So, what are we doing arguing then? What are we fighting for? <laughs> so, and again, there's going to be there's going to be a crowd that's just going to ignore this, keep on with their bashing, with the hating, and frankly, all right. That's your thing. If you wanna, if you wanna keep acting in such ways, or if you wanna keep that train of thought, then well, you're all, you're, go for it. But at the same time, don't overreact when people are trying to explain things to you, because at this point, if you're gonna keep the blind thought of la la la, I don't wanna listen. I'm right. You're wrong. The mass is right. You are wrong. Then. You're just going to look like a douchebag. And you don't want to be a douchebag. So, and besides, it's food for thoughts, right? You know, you might as well have a little discussion. Start trying to understand this. I'm not saying um, to try and listen to rabid fanboys, because there's always going to be rabid fanboys. But I'm just trying to say, look at both sides of the coin. You know, before you're starting to bash a company or a franchise might as well look at both sides of the coin and do that extra little research just to see what the fuck is exactly going on and what if i was in the same position huh uh so just a bit of food for thoughts because but seriously just hearing that kind of argument from a wii hater or a nintendo hater or whatever hater just going well, it's always the same thing. Well, you can say the same thing about pretty much every franchise. Um, so, that's about it for that topic. Um, feel free to discuss. I mean, okay, if you really want to punch Nintendo, then you might as well punch them on the topic that delays. Delays, delays, and more delays. But at the same time, and this is a topic that's kind of interesting to investigate. 
What if the delays were because Nintendo want to have their seal of quality onto it? Um, because again, you gotta you gotta try looking into this. And I'm gonna talk from a personal point of view. I haven't had major issues while playing Nintendo titles, and that is kind of fucked up. I have never had crashes and huge amount of bugs while playing a Nintendo game. And hell, uh, you could say I've only played No More Heroes, I've played Muramasa, I've played Zack and Wiki, and I haven't landed on those major issues. So, I don't know, if delaying your game, uh, if you're delaying, or if Nintendo is purposely delaying their game to add more content and fix bugs, Yo, go for it! Seriously, I wouldn't want Nintendo to change and enter that um, the disgusting DLC garbage where, alright, half our game is finished, we're going to give you the other half as DLC, as post-launch day one DLC. Ugh, fuck that. No joke. I wouldn't want Nintendo to go there. And if my game is going to be delayed to fix bugs, and promise an entire content, or promise me the entire content, then you fuck, go for it, man. Couldn't give that much of a fuck. I can wait. You give me a high quality game, and I will like you. But if you're gonna give me a buggy piece of shit, then boy, the haterade is going to be unleashed. No joke, recently I. I was given a game um, on Steam. It was called Orion Dino Horde. And for the first few minutes, I couldn't even fucking run the game. I don't know why. No clue. I updated my NVIDIA graphic cards, and oh, sweet, I could get one game in. And then when I tried to run it the day after, I couldn't even fucking run it. I got into a server, well, loading took at least five minutes. And as soon as I got into the server, it just stopped. Buggy, buggy mess. And this is why you're hearing about it, because it's a buggy piece of shit mess. And I'm pretty sure the developers had good intentions, but I'm remembering this as a buggy piece of shit mess instead of a fun experience that I could have had. So, if Nintendo is slowing down and pushing back their titles because there are such critical issues, then fuck. Sure. I'll take it. I'll wait. If Wonderful 101 came with disgusting issues, man, that would have been a blow to Platinum Games. And frankly, I haven't seen them have this many bugs in their games. No joke. I haven't seen any Class A or Class S bugs on their game list and class s meaning you know my entire hard drive freezing up or deleted class a being um the game freezes seriously haven't had that yet so if um if that's the reason for the delay yeah sure if um no dlc bs or no scheming dlc or dlc scheming is another reason good you take that time and you make that fucking game i can't wait because frankly if you give me a buggy piece of shit then i'm gonna be mad and i wouldn't want to play your fucking console or your the rest of your games either way um so okay that's that for the nintendo topic please discuss discuss on the youtube channel leave, leave some comments and a bit less haterade. Please be reasonable. <laughs> now, uh, for the whole GTA Online topic, talking about bugs and haterade. So, uh, for whoever doesn't know, GTA Online was released at, what was it, beginning of last week? Uh, a lot of people got mad because it didn't work uh, for the first few, first two or three days. It's pretty much a quick fix. And People started pulling out stuff like, oh my god, you guys should have seen this coming. 
uh, you guys should expect such things you know what kind of piece of shit developer you are I paid a whole sixty dollars and my multiplayer is not working all sorts of funny shit and uh, let me just address the topic by being quite blunt and saying what the fuck were you expecting why am I saying this in such ways it's because when you are dealing with servers and online launches this shit will happen. Uh, online and dealing with servers is not that easy. And take it from a person that worked in this industry. Uh, it's unexpected. It's unpredictable. Even launching your game on a server is quite unpredictable. And if you're going to start expecting such things to work on day one, then you're kind of a fool. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's being foolish because, well, you can't expect how many people are going to purchase your game. And even, just even if you have a number, stress testing that is hell. Now, uh, let's shove in a quick example. And I can't really get all the numbers. Frankly, I can't tell you exact numbers. But... Uh, let's say Rockstar has 500 employees. Maybe they have less, maybe they have more. Now, you would need to, to fully stress this Grand Theft Auto Online, knowing, even knowing how many people are or purchased your game, you would need to clone that entire studio more than 10,000 times. I will not do the math. Actually, maybe I can. Give me a moment. So, I'm going to pull out my calculator ad on my phone. Uh, let's say you have 15 million. Divided by Rockstar employee, let's say the studio has 500. Maybe they have more, maybe they have less. But that's somewhat decent. You will need to clone that studio 30,000 times to get something that would represent the stress test. Or... You know the the amount of people that purchase their game that's lunatic now on the comeback counter attack you could just say well you guys could have had an open beta and you know what you've got a point you, you that counter kind of sticks you've got a point um, they could have had an open beta but at the same time there is a kick, 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 counter to that counter. The fact that maybe Rockstar wanted to keep the online mode a surprise. Maybe they didn't want it to be leaked. Because let's say you have uh, an open beta with at least, you know, you want that 15 million people. Uh, let's say you have that. Now, out of that 15 million people, you can be 200% sure that 30% are going to capture card that shit and put it on YouTube. So there you go, leak. <laughs> How bad of a leak? Well, do the match. I'm not opening that app again. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, you can be sure that there's gonna be a leak, a disgusting amount of leak. Even if you have more than 10,000 home testers, there's gonna be a leak. There's gonna be that one guy with a capture card. That's just gonna leak the whole thing. And another thing you got to take in consideration is they kept the game hard coded with the single player because the maps are the same. So you'd have to give out the, mo the single player as well on that same disc or file. And there you go, you got an even bigger leak. Grand Theft Auto leaked two months before. There, it's done. Our game has been leaked. But so far, they've done a good job at keeping it, well, without any huge leak, aside from the map. And I can kind of understand if they didn't want to, you know, have that shitstorm. So, it's a very difficult conflict, or it's a very difficult issue. But you can't just say, oh, well, fuck Rockstar for not seeing this coming. Yo... You base yourself off the Grand Theft Auto 4 sales, 
And then you look at the Grand Theft Auto fire sales, and there you go, punch to the face. Unexpected. Huge amount. You can't prepare yourself for that kind of stuff. It is very difficult. And now, to make it all even funnier, you can just go ask a PC person that have, you know, had experience with online games like World of Warcraft and all that good jazz. Well, they're just going to tell you, I'm sorry, sit down. Because on many cases, there have been releases for MMORPGs where the servers kind of fucked up. So, that shit's going to happen. When you're dealing with online servers and stress testing, it's never going to go right. It's really never going to go that right. Or, it's rarely going to go right. Hell, you want a joke? Okay, let's have a little anecdote. We have three gamers. A gamer who purchased Grand Theft Auto, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 and is really salty about the online mode not being there. And then you have a gamer that uh, purchased Diablo 3 on day one. And that's really salty that the game didn't function as intended. And then you have another gamer that purchased SimCity 4 on launch and is very salty that it didn't work. So, you know, Gamer 1, uh, you have, uh, what was it? Gamer 1, that Diablo 3 player is like, Whoa, fuck, Blizzard. They haven't even gave me a day one single player. Fuck their shit. I played this game a full $60. Couldn't even play my fucking single player, man. What the fuck? And then you have SimCity 4 player, who sounds a bit more British. Don't ask me why, but he's going to go... For bloody sick, man, I couldn't even get my goddamn game to load up on day one, and I played a whole 70, 80 pounds for this bloody piece of shit. What a bunch of tossers, EA. Man, my English accent is garbage. <laughs> and then you have GTA 4, GTA Online player, you know, the guy who's really salty. Well, Motherfucker, man. I'm fucking pissed, man. Fucking Rockstar. They haven't even given me my fucking multiplayer. And, oh, well, I, I did get my single player. But, man, I should have had that multiplayer on the day that they announced two weeks after. Even though I got it two, three days after. But still, fuck Rockstar. You know what happens at that point? Both the other players are just going to look at that guy and say, Yo, sit down. Sit down, son. Because... <laughs> If you're gonna feel so butthurt, and okay, you might as well, that, maybe that's taking you a bit too far, but fuck it. If you're gonna feel so butthurt for not playing your online game for two, three days, then you're not ready for what's gonna be coming up next, seeing, you know, the huge push towards online, um, the huge push towards even bigger multiplayer. And then again, a lot of people seem to forget that Killzone Tree had that issue on launch. Some of the servers were unstable as fuck. So, I don't know, man. Some people easily forget and feel really uh, entitled when it comes to that. And basically, remember Diablo Tree. Remember SimCity. <laughs> Just remember. So... You see, it, this is why it's kind of funny just to laugh at um, people jumping on that let's hate Rockstar for Grand Theft Auto 4 online bandwagon. And a lot of people are going to consider this video damage control. What you're doing right now is doing damage control PR style for Rockstar and Nintendo and all that. And it's kind of funny. Um, it's kind of funny when you hear that from people. Why? Because you try to explain a thing with a cool head, and apparently that's damage control. You know, that's not getting fanboy mode on. If if I was getting my fanboy mode on, I'd say, yo, shut the fuck up, you paid your game $60. Shut up. Go. No, no, no. When, when that's, let's try to, you know, I was trying to explain things, but people do consider this damage control. Man, I should get paid for this. So, Apparently, explaining things is considered damage control. And um, how how can I put this? 
What the fuck are you talking about? Let, let's put that into another context. Again, going with the, the fucked up analogies, and maybe I might screw it up. But, um, okay. Let's try, let's go back to Don Matrix. Hey, your online thing, it doesn't work. I am trying to explain that shit to you. Do you want to hear me? And then Don Matrix, you know, he just goes, yo, enough with your damage control. If you're, because, you know, you're trying to explain something with a level head. A lot of users are not going to like Xbox One because of your always online shit that you said. Oh, well, shut your damage control mouth up. And if you don't like it, there's Xbox 360. See, that's the kind of feeling you get whenever a person's like, well, you're just trying to do damage control. I don't want to listen to you. And look what happened to Xbox. They got slapped right back to their senses. And they're a laughing stock right now because they're technically exposed. <laughs> but they could have their own X-Men cartoon at this point. So, you see... I don't give a fuck if you want to call it damage control or whatever. Because the bottom line is, a person's trying to discuss this shit with you with valid arguments or valid points. If you're not going to take time and look at both sides of the coin, well, you're both, you know, an extreme fanboy. And at the same time, you're kind of ex-boned. No joke. Damage control, man, I, I would wish I could use that excuse in everyday life. I mean, imagine that you're, you know, you took a loan, you owe, and a person's here to requis, you know, requisition and take your shit. And you're just going, why? Why are you taking this? Well, it's because you haven't paid your loan. Well, stop damage control, man. That's, that's complete damage control. You know, you're trying to explain this thing for your fucking company that you fucked up. You know, that's damage control, man. <laughs> uh, internet, man. Internet. Speaking about Haterade, could be a new episode of, you know, Life Stories, Haterade Life Stories coming on the other channel. Now in video, because it goes a bit better with my tablet. And besides, I get to be on camera. So, check out the other channel, not the Angry Manatee, the other one I use for my comics and updates and convention updates. And, yeah, remember, just look at two signs of the coin, and then, okay, base your opinion or your opinion on this. But, if you're going to ignore it and just go on ahead, well then, you might just be exposed. Alright, thanks for the support, start the discussion. And again, this thumbnail is not going to be finished anytime soon, huh? Actually, let's look at it, right? Wow, I completely forgot. Gotta put this as a different layer. Let's look at this. Uh, kind of garbage. I really need to learn how to paint. Kind of looks better, but a bit flashy. So. Anyway, we're still keeping the old thumbnail when it comes to Lollipop Chainsaw. Sorry, people. Um, but remember, keep a cool head. Don't get on that hatering. Discuss, comment, and yeah, keep on gaming, people. See you later.